a lot of trees down in here too i just i gotta look up the national weather service and see what direction this one in because i just can't figure it out i know it went straight up black like river boulevard Big tow truck. Kind of sad that that church is gone. The, this, that church is uh, next to the Rome Police Station City Court. And yeah, it's gone. Tree services are going to be busy. These guys got it worse than Perry Street. And Perry Street got it pretty good. Wow. Can't remember this. So uh, I think it's the law offices of McMahon. But yeah. They're going to be busy all night, all day tomorrow. And if I was the city, I'd make them work straight through the weekend. I mean, seriously. I mean, <laughs> city always talks about a surplus of money. Go straight through the weekend. But they won't. Look at that church, though. That's really sad that the steeple is no longer standing. I mean, it's going to be quite a long time to recover from this. Maybe climate change does exist. Then again, nah. Just a freak storm. Probably once every 50 years or so. But I mean, the wind was just all over the city. I mean, I don't know if it went straight uh, north or south to north or, I mean, that's the way it looks. Miss Daisy. <laughs> wow, more damage. Definite tornado damage. Um, I gotta say, this is my newest, latest video. Not gonna get posted until I get electric and Wi Fi. So I'm thinking maybe two weeks from the time the event happened. Sorry about that, folks, but <laughs> gonna have to look at a little bit of history. Uh, Grand Union and Marshall's Spectrum all closed. Although the way, yeah, and all the fire marshals of the state are in the Hobby Lobby parking lot. And I don't see too much damage to Hobby Lobby. And this is the result of the, at least one of the tornadoes. Completely collapsed a building here on West Dominic Street, uh, right across from Keaton and Lloyd Bookstore and the Capitol Theater, which got some windows broken on the bottom floor. But other than that, I don't think the Capitol Theater really suffered too much damage. But this old brick building, which has been an eyesore in the city for decades, uh, you know, the city officials kept saying, hey, we're going to tear it down or we're going to remodel it. They never did anything to it. So, hey, nature took care of it. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, that car is uh, not going anywhere. So, well, that's undrivable.
but a lot of the brick that fell from the wind came down this way uh, towards me and uh, which would be the west because there's a big pile of debris right there that just went right into the road of West Dominic Street from this building. But thankfully, I don't think there was anybody near the building at the time it did collapse. So that's a good thing, I guess. Unless you're the national news and you only post things when people are killed. <laughs> As you can see, state, uh, these state fire trucks are all over the place. I don't know what they do. They sure as hell aren't doing anything to put our electric back up. Uh, I think it's just a matter of they're going to clean up first. And I don't think any of the electrical stuff is going to get done until after the weekend. Which really sucks because today is Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and finally Monday. Maybe they'll start working on electric lines, which... To me, is a real joke. I mean, after a disaster, it should be 24 hours, seven days a week until it's done. City and the state just don't want to pay overtime. Figure that out. But this is some, and there's more damage down that way on, uh, I keep forgetting the name of those streets. I believe that's North George. They said like the yeah, afternoon. South George so. Street. Wind went through one side and came out the other. the steep and the steeple collapsed onto the roof that's what caused the damage to both churches uh, Baptist Church and St. Mary's Church the steeples fell on the roofs and and I don't think the church is going to bother repairing these the Vatican, the diocese, I don't think they're going to put any money into them. Much cheaper, just tear them down. Churches aren't filled anymore anyways, so turn it into a parking lot. Tear it down, sell the real estate. Mm -hmm. Make a ton of money. It's the capitalist way. And people think the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral had damage. I mean, this looks like a earthquake. 21 shoe department and the Dollar Tree all closed still after the storm. I don't know why. They, it looks to me like those stores didn't get much damage compared to maybe Grand Union and Marshalls, but... Maybe it's just because there's no electric. I don't know. Yeah. And of course this building is right across and next to the Capitol Theater. But that is the power of wind. It never was a very sturdy structure. Um, it was an old structure. The city had been looking a long time to tear it down. And as you can see, there's a big X on it, which means it's marked for demolition. But uh, now the city has a reason to tear it down. Before, they never could. So it's amazing the good you find in all the bad. It's like with the two churches, uh, St. Mary's and uh, John the Baptist Church uh, behind the police station. Uh... 
now that they've been destroyed by the tornado, uh, St. Mary's Church, which has been pretty much unoccupied for a couple decades, now the church can level it and sell the real estate, probably make a fortune off it. Or they'll build a smaller church, unknown yet, but yeah, they're not going to bother repairing them. And, yep, the car is still under all that rubble. Wow. Look at that. And I'm recording in 1080 HD, uh, 60 frames a second, uh, simply to save battery juice because my house has no electricity, so I have no way to recharge the batteries. And I just spent a fortune buying batteries. But the look.